Hello, today we're going to learn how to create a crossword using hot potatoes. So first thing we're going to to open J Cross, which is the the specific tool to create crosswords. First thing I'm going to do is put the title. In my case this is going to be animals because I'm going to create um, a very easy and short uh, animals exercise. Um, and then obviously next thing I need to do is to save it. I'm going to save it here animal crossword and uh, okay so um, I could actually create a hot potatoes activity uh, a crossword uh, put in the words uh, manually but I'm going to use a grid so I'm going to put my list of words so I'm going to choose six now but you can put as many as you want, horse, cow, frog, duck, deer and goat. And uh, you can choose uh, the grid size. Obviously if you have many words or some of them are very long, you need a bigger one. Uh, this one is small, so I'm going to try to make it work with 10 by 10. I click on make the grid to create it automatically and that's it. It's created. It's already put the words here automatically. What I need to put now is uh, obviously the, the clues that we are going to do, give the students so that they can uh, know which word to use. So here we have, I click on uh, add clues and um, okay, I click on each of them. I'm, I'm going to make it bigger so that uh, it's easier to see. Um, you can put whatever you want. You could put, for example, the Spanish, Baca, or you can uh, create, uh, I'm going to put images. So I'm going to include a picture from local file, uh, I'm going to my the folder where I have uh, the the images and where I have my activity so that it looks for the pictures in the same as I have. So this is the cow. I'm going to use uh, here uh, my cow. Um, I've decided to give them the clue in Spanish of what the animal is. So in the alt text and the title, I'm going to leave vaca, which is what I wanted, but not necessarily PNG. So I can change it to simply vaca. And I want it to be a maximum of 100 per 100 maintaining aspect radio. So in this case, the width is bigger. So it's going to be 100. OK. And every time I click, uh, I, I introduce a hint, a clue, I need to click on OK. Mm or every time I, I, I make a change. Mm, so, okay. Uh, same thing, we repeat the, the operation, insert uh, picture, uh, local file, so uh, probably this one, abrir, yes, again, it's huge, so I'm going to give it again a maximum 100, okay, okay, and click okay. Same thing for the goat, in the picture from local file, uh, I think it's going to be the PNG, and again uh, maximum 100, and uh, I'm going to manipulate my alt text. Okay, um, oh, same thing for all the all the all the words that you have. Um, the horse, horse, horse is huge. So again, 100. Okay. Click OK. The frog, same thing for the frog. Only two to go. OK, frog. Here is a frog. Maximum 100. Um, click here. OK. OK. And finally, my last word, the dog. Mm, local file. And here is my dog. OK manipulate the name because I want to, 100%, lovely. So there it is. So I have finished, I click on OK and um, save the exercise and check that it works. So I'm just going to be Animal Cross, yes, view in my browser and here we have, every time we click on a number we'll have the clue, in this case it is a, a picture. Mm. So um, as simple as that, if you enter the word horse, it's working. Okay, that's it. If I want now to upload it to a Moodle, uh, I must remember to um, upload everything, the J Cross and all the images that I have used. In this case, this is not used. I'm going to delete it, but all the other ones should uh, be uploaded mm, together with the exercise. As simple as this. That's it.